Hello, God Life family. Love to be with you. I'm so grateful we're together as one family all around the world. Please type in in the comment section where you're watching from today, which country. Type in your prayer requests. And if you want to follow Jesus today, let us know. Type, I want to follow Jesus. Our team's going to come alongside you, help you grow in your faith. And even right now, you can hit the share button, invite more people into the conversation. And we're talking about repentance. We're going a little deeper today. Repentance is a deeper word. It's a very positive word. It brings renewal. It brings refreshment. It brings revival. To repent means to turn 180 degrees, to turn from sin to God, to make a big U-turn, to have that shift, to change direction. And it's going to include humility. We've got to have the humility to admit our sin, the honesty to go deep with God and say, God, I'm going to turn from this sin today. And then you can name it specifically. It might be envy. It might be that you're stealing. It might be that you're lying. It might be impurity. There's so many things that we do that do not please God. There's also things we don't do that God wants us to do. Sometimes God wants us to pray for someone or be generous or encourage someone. And we stay quiet or share our faith and we stay quiet. All of that is sin. Commission, things we do that are wrong. Omission, things we don't do that God wants us to do. And that leads us to repentance. Throughout the Bible, you can see that repentance is powerful. In Nineveh, 120,000 people repent repented and they turned to God. Joel the prophet calls the people to gather, to repent, to return to God with all their heart. And throughout the Bible, there's a call for repentance. Jesus came not to seek and save those who are self-righteous because they don't see their need for repentance, but instead sinners, sinners to repent. We can repent at church, we can repent at home, we can repent right now. Repentance brings refreshment and spiritual health. It's how you get right with God. And it's when you take responsibility. Instead of pointing the finger at everyone else, you take responsibility for your sin and you say, God, this is what I've done. I need your mercy. And Jesus, I turn to you today to receive it. Now again, hit the share button right now. Invite more people into this important conversation. Let's get right with God together. You can also type in the comments any prayer requests you have. And we're going to seek the Lord in a prayer of repentance. Now if you see Daniel chapter 9, he's repenting. And he's doing it on behalf of the people. Ezra and Nehemiah lead the people. And he leads them in a prayer of repentance as well. You see throughout scripture that when people gather and they turn from their sin and they humble themselves and they seek God and they turn from their wicked ways, God brings healing, God shows up, and God brings restoration in churches, God brings revival, but it starts with repentance. Don't skip past repentance. You know, in any relationship, if you fake like everything's all right, and it's really not, that relationship's going to be shallow. There's going to be a double life there. There's going to be a lack of trust. But when you can come clean with God and he's still loves you. He already knows you're not going to surprise God, but then you come to him and you turn from sin and God does not despise anyone that's contrite in heart and God will welcome you home with joy. Let's pray a prayer of repentance right now. God, I pray for anyone watching who has not put their trust in you, Jesus, and I pray today, turning from sin, turning to you, Jesus, as Lord and Savior. And I thank you for this awesome decision. You came, Jesus, so that we would repent and receive the forgiveness of sins. We thank you. God, I pray right now for anyone watching who's drifted and wants to come back home. I pray thanking you, God, that idols are being dropped, God. Bad attitudes are being dropped. Hurtful words are being dropped. Pride is being dropped. Things are changing right now spiritually on the inside so that, God, we make room for you in our lives. We say, come on in to our home, to our house, to our lives. Every room, every door is open to you. Full surrender, we return to you. We thank you for your grace today. In Jesus' name, amen. When you repent, you're asking God for his grace, his purity, his restoration, and God is faithful and just. He provides that. The restoration that happens in your relationship with God is powerful. You know, a relationship can struggle. The quality of the relationship can go down when there's sin involved. But when there's repentance, that restoration comes, that closeness to God, the joy of the Holy Spirit returning to you. Say yes to the Holy Spirit in the fullness of God's presence today. And uh, this question, what is repentance? Turning 180 degrees from sin to God. Why is it significant? Because spiritual health and renewal and refreshment. Thank you for continuing to send questions. That's what we walk through on Sundays. Uh, please send your questions in today, right now. You can type them in. We gather those and then that's what we uh, want to look at together on the weekend. I hope you're having a great day. 
Get a Bible, spend time in the Word. Spend time on your knees in prayer. Spend time in church. Start serving in church. Find a good, healthy local church and grow in your faith. Thank you for this time of repentance together. We praise the Lord in Jesus' name. Have a great day. Amen.